So you guys wanna know what you can do for free to gain some performance. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you what you need to do. I'm gonna remove this seat. I'm just gonna set it on the back there. I'm gonna remove this seat. We need to remove this panel. Now, these airbox screws here, you need to take those out. There's two of them. One there, one there. Pop this off. I don't think I got the screw out all the way. There we go. There we go. Now, this piece is what we're after. So we're also gonna take the stock air filter off and we're going to try to replace it with a uni filter that I have here. All right, so as for the uni, this is a UP6229AST that I use in my Z Force 800. So you're gonna wanna take this piece out of your stock filter and put it down in this uni filter, okay? There we go. And she fits like a glove and she should fit in that air box. Now, I do not have an outer wares to put on it, but we should be okay as long as we oil it. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna oil it, okay? You don't have to run a, a outerwear, it just helps. But hey, it's better than this paper one that actually is already letting dirt in the intake. You see all that dirt in there? Yep, I do. We gotta get rid of it. It's, it's bad. So we're gonna oil this, but for now, we need to move on to the airbox mod. Now, you guys, we have been modifying air boxes on ATVs and, and three wheelers and you name it, anything with an air box, we have been modding it hardcore big time. What we're going to do is we're gonna get rid of all of this tube here. We're gonna get rid of all of it and we're going to smooth it out. So let me get you put on a tripod and we'll go to town. So guys, let me explain what this does by modifying it. And this can be used on anything. And I'll explain. But first, I need you to check out our sponsor, CFMotoUSAparts.com. Discount code capital redneck at checkout. For anything over $50 and under $2,000, it will save you some money. Who likes that, guys? Them guys are super awesome over there. They take right good care of us over here on the channel and they've been taking good care of all of my viewers. Definitely worth the look. Now, when modifying these air boxes, so this is what they call a silence tube. That's what they call it, but in layman's terms, it's emissions. It helps with emissions, okay? All emissions stuff is bad, bad, very bad for performance. Bad, bad, bad. So. By getting rid of this, it's going to flow easier, faster, better, smoother. But you can't just hack it and cut it up or you will hinder your airflow. I'm going to show you how to properly cut this out and smooth it out for best performance. Now guys, you're asking, do you need a tune? Do you need a tuner? No, the answer is no, because your machine is already EFI. It's going to run at the set map within a certain parameter. So if you go changing a ton of stuff, yes, you need a tune. But doing this in an exhaust, no. You might get some backfiring or some popping through the exhaust without a tune, yes. Is it a big deal? Are you gonna burn up your motor? No. Is it gonna be annoying? Yes. So yes, I do recommend a tune anytime you do this stuff. And I have got a brand new laptop. I'm going to start playing with AFRs since I can't find anybody to hold up their end of the bargain on tunes. So we're not gonna get on that subject. So let me show you guys how to properly 
cut this out. So you're gonna need some safety glasses. Yes, I'm wearing them. You're going to need a Dremel tool with a Dremel tool kit, okay? So, for starters, what we're going to do come in here and we're going to get the majority of it out of our way. Now that you've gotten the majority of it cut out, what we need to smooth out are all these edges so air flows and doesn't create turbulence, I guess you would actually say. Um, because if you have any like jagged edges and stuff like that, now it's going to look way better than this. You got any jagged edges and stuff like that, it could cause airflow problems and you don't want that. So you want to smooth out all of this. The best you can and we're going to do that all right guys so the best way to smooth out these edges once you got everything all cut just smooth it out take the roughness off of them they ain't got to be perfect you ain't going to a pageant show or anything and don't get too close because you will go through the plastic here to the other side if you go too close guys so you got to know where you're cutting. But don't worry, if you do go through the plastic, you can fix it with this plastic and this. It's easy. It's called plastic welding. Alright, so now we got that smoothed out. We got it washed out and cleaned out. She's good to go. We've got to oil our uni. Remember, this is a UP6229AST uni. And it's going to work just fine. Alright guys, so we're going to undress our uni. Now, I like Lucas foam filter oil. I also like Maxima oil filter cleaner and, and oil. That's fine. I bought this because it's actually cheaper than a Maxima. And you know me. We operate on a budget. So we're going to want to put this all over. We're going to rub it in, guys. Rub it in. Don't get any on the rubber. Just rub it in. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and put our uni sleeve back on. And we're going to douse this one. Get it massaged in there good. Rub it in, guys. Rub it in. All right, now that you got it rubbed in real good, let's go put it on the machine. Okay, guys. So we're going to get our new uni filter on there and like i said i gotta get outerwares for it but just having a uni by itself is is a big deal so i'm gonna get this on there just getting that clamp down on there that's all. Now guys, you want it clamped good, but you don't want it clamped like too tight. You're gonna wanna get your uni down in there. Now this one's angled. I'm actually going to recommend you get the UP6229ST. 
it's straight. It, the angled one is okay, but the straight one is going to fit that plastic piece better, and you won't really have issues there. Let's get this tightened back up. All right, make sure that's not going anywhere. Look how tight that is. That is freaking awesome. Take our gloves off. Wipe off our screwdriver. So now we got to get our air box back in there. I got all my wiring in here. All right. Slide our screw down in there. There we go. All right, guys, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned because we're going to take this out in the next video and we're going to rip on it. Remember, it's got the clutch kit. It's got the uni air filter, the custom intake, the custom modded intake. That didn't cost you nothing. And it's got an exhaust on it. The buddy gave us, Nathan, he's the one that rides with us all the time. And guys, this thing has been performing great. Now, we're going to be doing some stuff to Nathan's here in the next day or so and then you're we're going to show you guys them together we're going to show you the before which you guys seen the before race but we're going to put it in the video and do it side by side you know how i do we're going to show you the before race and we're going to show you the after all the mods race and see just where we are and hopefully we can get some other name brands to come out and come play with us. So, all right, guys, that's a quick one for you today. I hope you like what you see. Make sure to get on over and check out www.cfmotousaparts.com. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless.